Welcome back to the 2024 APP Punta Gorda Open. AJ McCord, Dominic Catalano with you for the call on this one. Women's doubles semifinal number two. You just saw Millie Rain and Bobby Oshiro punch their ticket to Championship Sunday. Who will they face? That is the question that we will have an answer to at the end of this match, shall we? So let's introduce you to the teams because these are familiar faces, but on different sides of the net. We're gonna start with our number two seed, Paris Todd, playing this time with Georgia Johnson. Now Johnson has matched up with Yates Johnson for the mixed doubles. They are going to be in the gold medal match tomorrow. She and Paris though, playing on the APP tour together for the first time that I've seen, certainly. Not playing together at all in 2023. And that's because Paris Todd was with Simone Jarjing for almost all of last year. The two of them won eight gold medals together on the APP Tour last year, but to start 2024, they are playing against each other. There's a live look at Simone Jarjing. She's matched up with Allison Harris. Simone, of course, one of the veterans of the game. Based out of Naples, Florida, but originally from Brazil. And like I mentioned, she is playing with Allison Harris. The only time these two played together last year in 2023 was in New Jersey. Tom, guess what color they took home? It was gold, baby. It was gold. So these two rolling it back here in 2024, starting out the year with a new partnership. Let's talk a little bit about Allison Harris. She started becoming a familiar face on championship court towards the back half of 2023. 30 years old, based out of Nashville, Tennessee. She and Andre Mick just stunned everybody when they came into Newport last year in mixed doubles and had met for the first time a few days before, made it all the way to the gold medal match. That was a lot of fun to watch, as I expect it will be to watch her with Jarjing yet again, trying to make sure that every time they team up, they walk away with the gold medal. But to do so, they're going to have to take on two very dynamic players. Dom, let's talk about this new partnership between Paris Todd and Georgia Johnson because both of these players very good in their own right, but playing together, what can we expect to see? Well, it's a lot of firepower from both of them, but what you're gonna see from Georgia Johnson is very consistent play. She's gonna keep the ball in play. She's gonna work slow to play fast. Georgia, one of the best female dinkers in the game. And another thing is I've always compared her third shot drop to that of Susanna Bars. Two of the best third shot drops on the female side in the game. So look for her to be aggressive with that third shot drop and set up Paris Todd. If they're allowing Georgia Johnson to hit those thirds, Paris Todd is gonna crash and look to kind of shake and bake off of a good third from Georgia Johnson. On the flip side, Jarjing and Allison Harris have a great kind of dynamic together. They've known each other. Allison Harris met Simone Jarjing at one of her camps and then that kind of blo blossomed a relationship between the two of them. And then from there, a partnership, her kind of segue into pro pickleball. And now she's here in a semifinal with a chance to punch her ticket to championship Sunday. It's gonna be a lot of fun to watch and certainly a different dynamic if you've been with us for last year to see Paris Todd and Simone Jarjing on opposite sides of the net. Dom, do you expect that to come into play at all today? Just two new partnerships, both of them figuring out a communication style? I mean, I think they're both pretty familiar with each other. Um, none of these players don't know each other sure. in general. They know each other's game very well. So I don't think you're gonna see really too much miscommunication. Um, right now, for me, it's gonna be who's gonna execute. An X factor, Georgia Johnson right now. What is she gonna do? Is she gonna hit her thirds? Is she gonna hit those drops? Is Paris Todd gonna be aggressive? Is she gonna be aggressive and come in and kind of shake and bake? So we'll see early on how this goes from the get-go. And of course, what is at stake for us here in our women's doubles semifinal? Just a casual spot on the first championship Sunday of the 2024 APP Tour. Whoever wins this is going to face off against Bobby Oshiro and Millie Rain tomorrow to try and take home the first gold medal of 2024. 
in women's doubles. Let's get this pickleball party started. Paris Todd with the serve. Todd finds back corner right there. Don't think she really meant to hit that that hard, but again, Jarjean letting it go. I think she thought there was more pace on it too. One, zero, two. She pulled her paddle down, goes past her, lands on the line. Side out. Side out here. So it's gonna be our first chance to see Allison Harris zero, and Simone Jarjean with the ball on their side. Zero, one, one, Harris with the serve. And yeah, nice inside out from Allison Harris, and you're going to see a steady die to that. If she gets a ball up to her forehand, loves this inside out forehand down the line. Paris Todd's got to be ready with that backhand down the line. That's her job. That's her responsibility. digs there from Jarjing and Harris. The defense, well done, but Todd and Johnson just relentless on that point, Tom. Well, Jarjing trying to make something happen here and jump kind of half around the sideline right there with that roll back hand, unfortunately into the net. Leaves that forehand just a little bit short, so it'll be a side out. Georgia Johnson with the serve. Johnson stepping over, getting big to take authority on that point. Yeah, she'll use her athleticism just like that in the middle. She'll get big, play big, and play fast when you leave a ball up like that. That forehand, though, just a little bit low. So on to the second serve, Paris Todd with it. 2-1-2. says, hey, I can be big, I can be athletic. Watch me step into the middle here. Yeah, great job there from Georgine. Reading that Johnson's gonna reach a little too much for that one, leaves it too high. One, two, one. Ball probably gonna go and sail out and hit the video board beyond the baseline, but. Again, hard to lay off when that ball's right there in your wheelhouse. Harris leaving that forehand just a little bit short. Two, two, two. Two, 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 the score for Harris to serve. Right that time, Harris unable to get that ball to fall where she wants it to. So it'll be a side out here. Paris Todd originally from Newport Beach, California, but now a Florida resident. Nice change of pace there from Simone Jarjing to set that up. Well, good coverage though from Georgia Johnson, recognizing that drop and coming in with Paris Todd. That just goes a little long with that forehand. There, right there. That is part of what we were talking about earlier, and you mentioned AJ is the miscommunication. Who was going to take that ball? Was it going to be Johnson or was it going to be Todd? No. 
good coverage in the middle from Johnson, but Simone Jardine keeping that ball nice and low, not allowing her to attack and counter that ball. Great finish there, Paris Todd recognizing Georgine pulled out wide, winds up for a strong two-handed backhand. Well, again, here it's Georgine trying to make something happen, but Todd not buying it. She stays home, finishes with that two-handed backhand, unforced error then from Todd on the return of serve. Great job Ooh. to just dip that ball inside. Well, that's dirty. She catches Paris Todd lean into the middle, and she goes backside right shoulder on her corner pocket, and it is a 5-2 lead here for Harris and Jarjing over Johnson and Todd. What do you think has been the biggest contributor to Harris and Jarjing's consistency throughout these first exchanges of game number one? Well, Jarjing's keeping the ball in place, not making many mistakes. Pulling a trigger like that, I like that. It's a good spot. Paris Todd does like to sit heavy, two-handed backhand in the middle. Jarjing knows that. She's played with her forever. And so, again, knowing those tendencies, that's a bonus, too. Mm -hmm. Now, again, that familiarity could be... <laughs> helpful or could hinder, right? It's a because, double edged sword. Right, again, it. because if Paris Todd's thinking that Jarjing knows that shot is there, then Paris Todd's got to do what? She's got to sit to that forehand, right? So, again, it's a, a double edged sword, like you said, AJ. So, we'll see who makes those adjustments if Johnson and Todd can make those. Certainly, Johnson and Todd need to find some adjustments here if they want to get back into this first game. Trailing by three here in. Game number one in our best two out of three to 11. Winner of this match earns a spot in the very first championship Sunday of the 2024 APP season. Harris just falling back on that forehand, leaving it short. So it'll be a side out. Paris Todd with the serve. So interesting watching these points develop because compared to the first women's semifinals, so far we've seen so much more power than we've seen patient cross court dinking, which to me defined the points in that last semifinal. Here, this lady's letting it rip and trying to get it in bounds. Yeah, again, it all depends on who's playing, right? Yep. It's the team, what your philosophy is, who the players are, what your strengths are, and play to your team's strengths. Oh, that's oh. dirty little cut forehand right there from Simone Jarjing as she has Paris Todd back behind the baseline here. That's beautiful timing and touch. And she does such a good job selling it. She winds up as if she could put everything she's got into it and instead cuts it. <laughs> I don't know how Jarjing gets those balls back over the net, but she does. That's again, just get one more ball back over. So they get the ball back on their side of the net. It's a 6-3 lead. See right there, Harris. It's the inside out that she continuously tries to go with. You don't get as much power on it. She had a ball sitting up that she could actually swing through, and she decides to go inside out. Todd and Johnson reset it and get back in the point. And 
nice job right there of Paris Todd coming out on top of that hands Four, battle. Six, that time Four. Harris pushing just a little bit too much. Ball sails long and just like that. Johnson and Todd with an opportunity to tie us up here in game number one. Five, six, one. Five, six, one, the score for Georgia Johnson serve. There is that absolute dirty drop shot right there from Georgia Johnson. She keeps that low, goes cross court to the right foot of Allison Harris. She pops it up and there's the shake and bake from Paris six, Todd six, for one. the finish. Charging, flipping that one just a tiny bit long. I mean, that was inches long right there. It's a good idea from Jarjing. Typically, she'll keep that in, but just a little too hard, a little too much of the sweet spot. Great job there by Todd and Johnson. Those elevated balls. Getting him back to the feet of Jarjing and out of play. So Johnson and Todd take an 8-6 lead. Another look at how they did it. Yeah, again, it's taking that lead back here, taking control back. Started with a great Georgia Johnson drop shot. Todd coming in to shake and bake and then winning this hands battle right here. Back on top by two are Johnson and Todd. So a timeout called on the court by Simone Jarjing and Allison Harris. Now, they did build up a 6-3 lead at one point in this game, and then it's a 5-0 run that Johnson and Todd have gone on. Out of this timeout, what do Jarjing and Harris need to get back to to find their rhythm again? Well, again, right now, I think Allison Harris is getting some balls up that she needs to literally just attack. She's still going with that inside out a little too much, I think. I'd like to see her just try and punish ball. She has the power, it's there, but don't try and be so cute. I want her to punish that ball, get it down at the feet of Johnson and Todd. As long as you hit your spot, get it down, it's a good shot. But trying to kind of trick and, and go inside out a little too much right now, I'd like to see her finish with that big forehand. Eight six two. The score for Paris Todd serve. Oh, I like the idea right there, but maybe a little overly aggressive from Georgia Johnson right there. I think she got upset that Allison Harris reset that ball. Six eight one. That time, strong overhead finish from Georgia Johnson. Yeah, big angle. We talk about that all the time. It's not about how hard. It's about the angle you can hit. She hits a perfect angle right there for the put away. Right now in those big sort of forehand right at the chest level firefights, seems like Johnson and Todd are coming out on the correct end of those more often. Yeah, that's their sweet spot right there. They want that ball right there. Point. And that's just Allison Harris backing up off that line. That's something I'd love for her to do a little more is hold the line. She tends to back up off that line just a little too much on that right side. Nine six two. The score for Johnson serve. Great 
get by Allison Harris. Are you kidding me? Johnson there to try and recover, but can't get the around the post to actually get around the post into it instead. Well, that was exactly, or the only thing that Allison Harris could do is flip that up and over. Not sure if it was there for Johnson. She attempts it and goes into the post instead of around it. Two good points right there for Jarjing and Harris as they start to creep back in here now. Get that side out after the timeout and a point right away. 7-9-1 still on their first serve. Jarjing telling Harris to watch it because after that pop-up she knew had potential for Johnson to take advantage. 7-9-2, Jarjing with the serve. Oh, great resets there from Allison Harris. Got what she wanted, but just overhits it. Just a tad, misses the back corner. But a good setup there from Allison Harris. So it'll be a side out here. Todd and Johnson sitting just two points away from taking game one. So good. What a point from... Uh, Paris Todd right there. She went cross court drop, two handed backhand drive. Game point done. opportunity here for Georgia Johnson. Oh, Somebody Jarjing will take that love, love off the tape right there. Pushes them onto their second point, second game point opportunity. 10 7 2, Todd with the serve. Ooh. Good get out of the way there from Jarjing. As you can see, trying to catch her on the uncoil, but she's like, uh uh, I'm not being fooled into putting my paddle up for that. Yeah, Going out of bounds. Yeah, good leave right there. It's a veteran move knowing where she is in the court and the pace of that ball. Oh no, that is a clean winner third shot drop from Simone Jarjing. Hitting that into the wind, too. The wind knocks it down. 8 10 1, Jarjing with the serve. Oh, Johnson there to take advantage of an off-balance Allison Harris. But it's a perfect spot there from Georgia Johnson. She's got Harris on the sideline. She tries to recover and get back in play. Johnson goes right back behind her again. Nice little mid-pace speed up there from Paris Todd. And so Jarjing and Harris get... A point back, but it's now the third Eight, game point one. opportunity here for Johnson and Todd. Again, the around the post. Johnson tries to shape it, just too harsh. Take another look. Great hands here from Simone Jarjing, just to keep that in play. Drops it back. Johnson tries the other side with the ATP and off the post again. So don't look now, but Jarjing and Harris, four game points defended. And an opportunity here Eight, ten, one. to get some points of their own. Nice job right there from Allison Harris. She sets up the put away right there with the inside out. But that was a good time for the inside out. It was a good position. She goes behind Johnson, gets the pop up, and then the put away. And getting a timeout here from Paris Todd and Georgia Johnson is lead diminished to one. And this is always sort of that really critical point, right? If the team who is down by one at 9-10 has the ball, this is a really important moment if you have the 10. <laughs> because you want to make sure that when you get the ball back, you still only need that one point. But if Jarjing and Harris get a point here, 
And we now go into that win by two scenario. Correct, and it is 9-10-1. So they'll have two opportunities here to tie this up, if not take a lead or win, do Harris and Jarjing. But it seemed like Johnson and Todd have been in control for most of this game. But Jarjing and Harris just not going away. Yeah. They didn't want to go away. They kept grinding away, keeping balls in play. Twice, yeah, Jarjing kept seven. balls in play. Johnson trying to go around the post twice did not happen and now all of a sudden it's a one-point game on first serve for Harrison Jarjane. It's also a beautiful afternoon here in Punta Gorda, Florida right around four o'clock as we see the shadows start to creep onto our championship court as we get later in the afternoon we'll see how the sun plays a factor for the players on the court. Right now Harris and Jarjane opportunity to tie us up at 10 all. Not the ball that Harris wants to speed up. She was through in transition area, backed off about seven feet from the kitchen line, trying to speed up at Georgia Johnson. She's sitting on that. Second serve, Jarjing with it. Ooh, I think Georgia Johnson read that perfectly. as <laughs> She was sitting on that little half speed up from Jarjing, beautifully done by the youngster. And now it's another opportunity for Johnson and Todd to put this game away. 10-9-1. Here's Paris Todd. Break it on the sideline there from Harris just to keep a minute. Yep. And then Paris Todd has a ball on her paddle and just yanks it, pulls it across her body a little too much. So it's the sixth game point opportunity here. Johnson trying to finish it off. And they do. Right where she was standing right there. She backed off the line a little too much. Goes off the tape, and that'll end game number one. 11-9 for Johnson and Todd. Good job by Harris and Jarjean coming back. So we'll have a game two here in just a moment. But while we have a break in the action, we got a really cool update for you here on the APP. We're talking about a new partnership with the Fort. now by Brad Tuckman, co-founder of The Fort, and Ken Herman, the founder of the APP, to talk about this historic partnership. Brad, I want to start with you. Just with The Fort opening this year and announcing this partnership, how does this set you guys up for the long-term future, and, and what does it bring here to the APP? Yeah, that's great. Thank you. Before I say anything, I just got to tell you, this guy... <laughs> I have no idea how he is this happy every day of the week. So he has the greatest job ever. And if I could just have a little bit Ken around me, I think we'll be in a good, good situation. So, you know, we started this process over three years ago, and it takes a long time to get a project off the ground. And three years ago, I think people weren't really understanding why we wanted to build such a big, large facility. At the time, we just needed more courts. And uh, so it was providing a need to the local community, which is basically the grassroots amateurs. And as time went on and we realized what this sport was evolving to, we said, wow, you know, this is great. We have to scale this thing and, and make it for everybody from the grassroots amateurs all the way to the, to the senior professionals. So, um, you know, when we're doing that, we're looking to, you know, find a great partner where we can actually not just open, but open and excel and, and create a place that doesn't exist today. And uh, with these guys, Ken and, and what the APP has is no better partner. 
And Ken, I want to talk about what the APP is bringing to this partnership because I know you are so passionate about taking care of the pickleball player from sure. the very first time they pick up the paddle all the way to when they're winning gold medals and you're getting to put them around their neck on championship well, court. What does it mean <laughs> to have this partnership with well, the court? Well, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. I went to Brad three years ago with this vision of how APP really needs to have a, a headquarters, a headquarters at a wonderful venue that we could not only maybe showcase tournaments there, but APP also has been providing a platform for players to continue to develop. We've got the Next Gen Initiative, the U.S. National Next Gen Team. I've got a headquarters now where we are also going to have office space, but now also an unbelievable training facility at the fort where we can start to continue to train players, whether they're your amateurs, your pros, or your touring pros that are looking for a home base. And it's such a historic partnership for pickleball, for the sport as a whole. Brad, just how do you see this helping grow the sport? Oh, I think, I mean, what you've done the last couple of years is just ridiculous. Um, but I think, you know, players need a home. And I think, you know, whether it's on a social side, pickleball players just like to hang out with other pickleball <laughs> players. It's a little bit of a cult, and I'm okay with that. Um, but when it comes to, to a pro professional level play, this sport's ready for yeah. a central facility where they can actually have all the tools they need, everything from recovery to proper training, proper video footage, to be able to see what they're doing every day, you know, and then have the training that they might need to how to perform better from a social influence standpoint, things they can do to actually make more well-rounded in their career. Awesome. Well, we are so excited to see this partnership continue to grow. So excited to bring it here to you here in Punta Gorda. Guys, thank you so much, Brad, Ken, for your time. Looking forward to talking more about this as the season goes on. Great. Yep. Thank you. All good. Thank you. Wow. I mean, what a place the fort is going to be, not only for the people in that area, but for the APP having the headquarters there opening in Fort Lauderdale in 2024. 43 dedicated pickleball courts, 14 weatherproof courts, and a complete stadium court. We are so looking forward to that. Point. Brad and Rich, the two guys behind that, phenomenal guys. One, Love zero, working two. with Ken and the APP. Got a chance to speak with those guys last week in Miami. Looking forward to that at the end of this year. Here on Championship Court, game Got number it. two underway, and Harrison Shoujing on the board first. Take another look at how they did it. One, one. Or excuse me, this is how Johnson and Todd got the ball back. Zero, one, one. Second server. On to their second serve. Zero, one, two. Zero, one, two. Wow, great job there from Georgia Johnson. She has Harris sitting middle, thinking she's going to flip middle. She flips right shoulder, goes down that line for the winner. One, two. One, one, two. Johnson with the serve. Oh. Side out. Great ball there by Jarjing to get that point started. Flying cross court, gets a little help off the tape. One, one, one. And it's one, one, one. Back on the side of Jarjing and Harris. Side nice spot right server. there from Paris Todd. And the reason that's successful is because she gets it down because Jarjing does read it in the middle. But one, Paris one, Todd two. does a nice job of getting on top of that ball and keeping it low. Long right there on the forehand pull from Allison Harris. So have to give the ball back without getting any points one, on the one, board one. for themselves. Still tied at one. Second server. It's just a tough drive from the position that Paris Todd's in. She's behind the baseline. Players at this level, if you're driving from behind the baseline, they're going to be all over that. There's one, so one, much time two. to read that and counter that. It's exactly what Harris does. I just have to I, I just have to laugh because Simone Shoujing does such a good job of changing the pace 
And here you can see Paris Todd kind of knows it's coming. One, one, one. Gets there, pops it up, but Zhou Jing ready and waiting to flip across court again. Nice battle right there from Zhou Jing and Harris just fighting, keeping that ball in play until they finally get a good drop. And Todd goes into the net. Beautifully one, done one. by Harris and Zhou Jing. 2 1 1. Harris leaving that ball short. Walk me through what's happening on a ball like that because it's a few times that we've seen her sort of falling back, not putting the power in after this point. We'd love for you to break that down for us. Well, it's just like that right there. Zhejing's falling away from it, and so is Harris. When you're falling away from it, your weight's moving back, which means you can't get everything into that ball. You're just a little short. have to have that momentum, that body weight moving forward as you hit. A oh, little miscommunication in the middle right there. Point. I think Harris thought Jarjing was going to take it. Two, two, one. So it ties us up, 2-2-1, two, two, the score for Johnson serve. So good from Georgia Johnson Point. right there, and that's why I know Paris Todd and Georgia Johnson are playing straight up. I just love to see Georgia Johnson on that left-hand side. So many weapons when it goes outside wide to that two-handed backhand. Second server. Three, two, two. Johnson didn't play on the APP tour last year, but starting 2024 out with us. She's already locked in her spot on Championship Sunday in mixed doubles, trying to do it in women's doubles as well. But a side out here. Two, three, one. It's going to be Allison Harris with the serve. 2 3 1. Yeah. Nice finish right there from Allison Harris as she gets on top of that forehand. Finds a hole in the middle. Beautifully done. Another look here three, three, at the one. winner. Down the middle from Allison Harris. Second server. A little long on that serve from Harris. Three, three, two. Oh, she gets what she's looking for right there on a good drop. Comes in, just can't get on top of it enough. They do tie this second game up three, at three, three apiece. One. That time Harris making sure she stays on top of it. Takes a good angle. Cross court for the winner. 3-3-2, three, three, two, Paris Todd with the serve. Ooh, Todd gets away with one right there. Harris not going to miss that very often. Four, three, two. Four, three, two. Yeah, and that's exactly what I'm talking about. Georgia Johnson on that left side. So athletic, can move so well, and has so many weapons over there. Even if they don't do it when they're receiving serve, I'd love to see them stack it up, put Georgia Johnson on that left-hand side, and go from there. So a timeout called on the court by Allison Harris and Simone Jarjing as we see a little bit of rhythm being developed here by Paris Todd and Georgia Johnson. Johnson, like I mentioned, did not play on the APP Tour last year, but was an ad here in 2024 to start things off. And uh, so far, the partnerships have worked out for her. She's already locked in to a mixed doubles gold medal match with Yates Johnson. And here, she's just one game away from doing the same with Paris Todd. What is this duo doing so well, Dom? Well, Johnson and Todd just feeding off of each other right now. And 
Here's Georgia Johnson right here on that left side. Flipping sides, and then Georgia Johnson taking over with that two-handed backhand. But again, look how they move the ball in and out, and then Georgia Johnson has Harris leaning middle, goes backside on her, beautifully done, and has given them a one-game-to-none lead and a 5-3 lead here in game two. Johnson stepping over, getting big in the middle. Jarjane gets a paddle on it, but just falls outside. Six, three, two. So it'll be three, six, two. Or six, three, two, excuse me. Side up. That ball left short, so opportunity here for Harris and Jarjane to start digging into this lead, trailing three, by six, three one. here in game number two. Nice work right there from Harrison judging to get out of trouble, but good pressure there from Johnson and Todd. Continuing to apply it, and then Harris going just a little long on that forehand. 3-6-2. Three, 3-6-2, six, two. Three, six, two. Harris with the serve. Point. Oh. Todd winding up, looking for a big moment there on her two-handed backhand, four, six, but two. into the net. So it's 4-6-2, Harris with the serve. And great again, spot. Todd yeah, great taking spot advantage. Right there from Todd going in the middle, but the point before AJ is what you pointed out, talking about leaning back, and that's exactly what Paris Todd did on that four or that backhand. Six, four, she leaned one. back off her heels, goes into the net. Johnson is just unreal with the athleticism. And also, though, she's putting the right amount on that ball. Well, it's a, Seven, it's four, a double one. shake and bake. There's the shake, bake, and then we'll bake it one more time down the middle. And there it is again, four. another shake and bake off the paddle of Paris Todd. Starting to pull away here, AJ, in game number two. Eight, four, one. It's their biggest lead so far of this second game. Up by four. Charging doing a good job to stay in that point. Just flips it a little wide. Yeah, nothing she could do right there. She's caught thinking that ball is going to get back to her, and then it's off the tape, drops in. Great cover in the middle from Georgia Johnson. And then the two-handed backhand for the winner. And now an opportunity Ten to win the match one. here for Georgia Johnson and Paris Todd. Todd with the serve. The gasp from Georgia. The issue right there is as she's going to hit that, she takes a step backwards. Needs to hold Ten that line, and lean into that. Second game point, second match point opportunity, excuse me. Harris with the Five lob. Out and does a great job of catching Georgia Johnson. A little bit flat-footed, she goes, gets a paddle on it. Just too much angle. Four, ten, one. So two game points, two match points defended by Harris and Jarjing, and now they got some work to do. It's 
Too Great good. Spot. Backside from Paris Todd. Georgine caught in the middle just enough. Four, ten, two. Ooh, Georgia Johnson coming in and finishing that nice firefight between all four of these ladies, but it'll give Johnson and Todd another opportunity. Their third opportunity here at match point. Paris Todd trying to put things away. That ball from Harris sailing wide, and so it is. Paris Todd and Georgia Johnson making it through for our women's doubles gold medal match on championship Sunday. An impressive first showing from this duo. Yeah, they looked really good. I like the dynamic duo of the two of them. A lot of firepower, but can play controlled at times as well. So looking forward to seeing them on Sunday. All right, we will hear from Todd and Johnson when we return to Punta Gorda. Introducing Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the APP Tour. They're ultra lightweight and responsive for incredible speed. They have Goodyear rubber outsoles with a specialized pickleball design for increased side-to-side -side stability and agility. Plus, they feature shock-absorbing foam and Skechers' famous relaxed fit design for incredible comfort game after game. Conquer the court in comfort. Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the APP Tour. A typical insurance? You're just another senior. That is the third health insurance commercial with seniors at a farmer's market. Right? Don't get me wrong, I love a fresh heirloom, but it's like those companies think we're all the same. That's why I chose Humana. Before I signed up, I spoke to someone who actually listened to what I needed. She told me about benefits that were right for me, like vision and dental, all in my budget. I finally feel in control. What are you doing? Taking control. <laughs> Humana, a more human way to health care. Take another look at match point for Paris Todd and Georgia Johnson. It's a little too much power, too much pace from Todd and Johnson. That one missing just wide. So they'll move on to Championship Sunday here in women's doubles. Dominic Catalano is courtside. All right, first, congratulations, ladies. Moving on to Championship Sunday. Georgia, great to see you first and foremost. And again, now two gold medal matches you're playing in on Sunday here on the APP Tour. What's it mean to you? Oh, it's really special. Um, thank you to my partners. I'm glad I was able to play even though it was last minute. And uh, I've had really fun, a lot of fun. All right, and Paris, again, going up against someone you know so well on the other side of the court. How is that dynamic for you? Yeah, no, it was just fun to get out here and play with Georgia. You know, the last minute call was a pretty good substitution. So I'm just glad she's back on the ATP tour and she came out and played with me last minute. So, and I'm glad I also got in her skirt. She's never in a skirt, so. <laughs> well, it's a miracle, Georgia. It's a miracle, says Paris. So congratulations, ladies. Moving on to Championship Sunday. We'll take a quick break here in Punta Gorda, Florida. Men's Pro Bronze Medal Match on Championship Court coming up next.